Hawkins is not only a comedian, but he's an actor as well. He can soon be seen in an upcoming movie called Mortuary Academy, which might be playing at this very theater. But now he's going to do some comedy, folks. Here's Bobby Cosser. Well, everyone, thanks. Hello. And it's really nice being here at the Chinese Theater because this is the first place I ever came for a job. I don't know if anybody ever did that. First place, you always remember that? Because I came as an usher. They had an ushering job available, and I, I came here, and I said to them, I'm great with a flashlight, right? I said, what do you like around popcorn? I said, I'm amazing. I lost out to someone with an ushering background. <laughs> I said, what do you say I come back? They said, instead of hiring me, they would rather work harder. <laughs> so I went next door to the all-night diner next door, 24-hour food place, and it was the late night shift, and, and it's so hard to get a job. They said I wasn't sleazy enough. <laughs> you get the feeling the only requirement for the night shift is that you've never been to the dentist in your entire life? <laughs> Get the feeling these late night food places are involved in some prison work program. <laughs> the food's lousy, isn't it terrible? They should be more honest. They should say our chefs take pride in what they make. They're just not very good. <laughs> Hash potatoes on a stick, do you know what I'm saying? Ribs are $1.75. Ribs with meat are $6.75. I don't mean to complain, but I ordered chicken and it was so burnt. It didn't taste like chicken, it didn't look like chicken. I wanted my money back. They're able to prove it was chicken through its dental charts. <laughs> this is the place where people come to meet celebrities because of all the footprints and the handprints. And you know who I saw this afternoon? Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan was here, do you know who he is, this big wrestler? This guy is 6'9", 320 pounds. And I'm looking at him, and he's looking at me. And the more I look at him, the more upset I get. Just the more it makes me realize his mother took being pregnant a lot more seriously than my mother. <laughs> you get the feeling his mother was drinking protein shakes, and my mother was partying till she puked. <laughs> I didn't hear the introduction. Did he tell you in 1956, during the Hungarian Revolution, I was separated from my parents for three years? And there was no reason for it. Because we were living in San Diego at the time. Comedy's not the only thing I do. I also work as a bodyguard for people who don't take their lives seriously. Thank you. Everybody.